A new executive order from Governor Greg Abbott bans COVID-19 vaccine mandates by any entity in Texas. And the governor's added this to the special session call for lawmakers to write new state laws about vaccine mandates. KVU's Derenisha Heron is live in our newsroom tonight. And Derenisha, there's been some confusion over how this is all going to work because of federal rules. Quita, we know just last month, President Joe Biden announced plans for businesses with more than 100 employees to require COVID-19 vaccines or testing. The Labor Department is still working on formal rules, but Governor Greg Abbott's new order goes directly against the president's plan. I spoke with political science professor Mark Jones from Rice University. He says the governor's allowed to implement this order under the Texas Disaster Act. And Jones says that the governor's new order is an extension of a previous one that banned vaccine mandates from government entities and school districts. But some businesses have already started requiring the shots. So Jones says the courts may get involved. Now you find yourself uh, essentially caught between two uh, principal actors. The Biden administration that says you have to require the vaccination mandate and Governor Abbott, who says you cannot require a vaccination mandate. Governor Abbott also called on the legislature to pass a law with a similar effect. But the third special session will be coming to an end next week. So Jones says they most likely won't have time. He says in the end, the federal government typically wins. But it's a big question if the state would enforce any federal rules. And what Governor Abbott is signaling is even if in the end, uh, his executive order is overruled by uh, the federal justice system. He, Texas may not be all that vigilant uh, in terms of enforcing this type of mandate. Of course, all of this complicates things for businesses, especially for big private companies that have already started to enforce vaccine requirements. No matter what side they choose, companies could still face legal complications. Quita. What a mix up. Well, KVU's Derenisha Heron live in our newsroom tonight. Derenisha, thank you. Now, we reached out to the White House this evening to ask what this executive order means for the plan to implement federal vaccine rules. We haven't heard back yet.